Welcome inside Washington Grizzly Stadium for a game between number four Montana and number seven Sacramento State for a game that will have major playoff implications. It is pretty self-explanatory why this game is so important. If the Grizz win this game, they will have three ranked wins. And although they still have two games after this, a win against Sacramento State, if we can beat Portland State next week, this might lock up a top eight seed in the FCF playoffs regardless of what happens against Montana State. But we don't need to talk about being a top eight seed. We have much more at stake. After a very poor September start, the Grizz win their next three games. They are the number two seed in the SCF playoffs. Why that's so massive, you should know. Montana being a top two seed gets you home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Montana is 25 and two at home since 2019. So having a first round bye and home field advantage throughout the playoffs is gonna be key for a trip to the national championship. But let's just keep it one game at a time. Number seven, Sacramento State, today's matchup. This game is gonna be really, really challenging, guys. We're two point favorites, but Sacramento State's a good, good team for a reason. They beat Stanford. I mean, the Stanford Cardinal, that's a very, very good win. As I said against Idaho, yeah, it's an FBS win. Stanford may not be the best team, but it still is an FBS win. It's impressive to go beat your former head coach. So the Grizz have a major, major challenge in front of them today. However, with that being said, the Grizz have figured something out defensively. Last week against Northern Colorado, Northern Colorado was not good at all. They said it 0-8. But what the Grizz did defensively was truly marvelous to watch. Under 100 yards and they shut them out. That's impressive whoever you're playing. If the Grizz defense comes to play again, Montana will not lose this game. As for the offense, a little bit of a question mark. Clifton McDowell did not play very well last week against Northern Colorado. We had to bring in true freshman Aya, who looked extremely, extremely good. What's gonna happen today? I have absolutely no clue with the offense. They have to come to play today. We can't just trust our defense to shut down Sacramento State. These guys are good, and we're gonna have to score some points today if we wanna win this game. The revenge factor is also gonna play a factor in this game. The last three years Sacramento State has beaten us last year was extremely memorable I get I'll get to it more later but that game really derailed our season and it should not have been a loss for the Grizz I'll talk about that later as I said so for my prediction for this game Montana shows the FCS world that they are a true FCS contender they win it 24 21 over the Hornets as for the temperature today it's actually pretty good 50 degrees however there is a chance of rain hopefully it does not start downpour because then it's gonna be very cold Honestly, what this is like, this is perfect right now. All right, here's the pizza review for today. Pizza number one, I can't open the box. All right, here's pizza number one, pizza number two. They both look good, but pizza number two looks better. All right, as usual, here's what the tailgate section looks like. And I lied earlier, guys, it is absolutely freezing out here. It's hard to keep this camera straight because my hands are shaking so much, it's freezing out here. All right, as I said earlier, I'm gonna go more in depth about why this is a revenge game for the Grizz. I don't wanna talk about this, but since we're playing Sac State, I kinda have to. Last year was a brutal trip down to Sacramento. Montana was moving the ball right down the field. They went up seven, nothing, and then a cheap shot from one of the Sacramento State players. A late hit on Lucas Johnson, it knocked him out of the game. And we ended up losing that game and we were never the same at quarterback after that. And that was kind of the start of the downfall of our season last year. But even with Lucas Johnson out, we still had a chance. But late in the game, we didn't lose to Sacramento State. We lost to the refs. Now, I don't like blaming the refs when we lose, but that call was absolutely atrocious. The guy caught it out of bounds and they ruled him inbounds. Sac State went, they scored a touchdown, and then we ended up losing the game and our season went downhill from there on out. So one year later, you think the Grizz have forgotten what happened that game? I'm sure a lot of the coaches and many of the players have this game circled as one they want to win. Because last year, that, it, that killed our season right there. Lucas Johnson went out, the QB play was never the same. You could have argued with Lucas Johnson, we beat Sac State, we beat Weber State, and we're not playing a first round game against Southeast Missouri State. We have a first round bye, and who knows how the season can go after that. We want revenge today, and I think we're gonna get it. We do not lose 25 and two since 2019 Montana. Let's get it done. Let's show the FCS world how dangerous we can be. Here's your uniform combo for today. Truly an opposite day. Sac State going with white helmets, white jerseys, and white pants. The Grizz, they're back and they're all black. Black pants, black jerseys. Unfortunately, they don't have black helmets, but gray helmets, black jerseys. These jerseys are epic. The fans love them. And this is going to be an atmosphere. This place is going to be going crazy. Guys, this wind is brutal. It is freezing out here. It's, it's 50 degrees, but it's way colder than it was when it was like 20. <laughs>
All right, guys, I didn't mention this, but they gave me glow sticks when I walked in, so maybe it'll be a light show when it gets dark. Who knows? Guys, I forgot to mention this as well, a win today for the Grizz. Bobby Houck would have the most wins in Big Sky history, passing Jerome Sowers for first place all by himself. It's pretty cool. Sac State has a lot of fans over there. That's more than the opposing team normally brings. Washington Grizzly Stadium for tonight's Big Sky Conference game between the 7th ranked Sacramento State Hornets and your 3rd ranked University of Montana Grizzlies!
This looks like a different view because I'm never up here, but halftime, we look really, really good. A lot of missed opportunities. Keep going, Grizz. This is a huge win. If we can win this game, it's going to be massive. As I said, one more half to go. Keep it going, Grizz. Montana leads 21-7.